is triumphant, ever reigning, Saviour, Master, King. Lord of Hem, our life sustaining, hear us as we sing. Yours the glory and the crown, the Good morning. Let me welcome you to worship in your home on this Palm Sunday with the traditional words. Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Lord save us it means. We're going to be hearing a little bit more about that in our service today. God's salvation. But before that, just a couple of notices. This week you will have noticed there's a, a range of things going on. There's going to be a Churches Together Good Friday service here on this channel at 11.30 on Friday. There's also going to be a weekly, just short devotionals, three, three four minute uh, monologues from a character in the biblical story, hopefully bringing to life uh, the events of the last days of Jesus' life and seeing it from their perspective. And then, of course, next Sunday, Easter, we will gather as, as congregations both at Radford Road and at Lillington Free Church where we'll share Holy Communion with one another and, and what a wonderful occasion and opportunity that will be to share Communion together. Now let's sing our opening hymn, All Glory, Lord and Honour to Thee, Redeemer King. Oh, 
David's royal son, who in the Lord's name comes, the King and Blessed One. The company of angels are praising thee on high, and mortal You have got a carrot, haven't you? No? How disappointing! You know, I don't normally talk to anyone unless they give me a carrot. But you're in luck today because I've got quite a story and I'm so excited to tell it. And if there's no one else around, I guess you'll do. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Foolish beasts I be. Floppy ears and jutting teeth. Feet like a great stallion and body closer to Nelly the elephant. Mocked and derided I have been all my life. Called a silly ass and a beast of burden. And I am a beast of burden. Other people's. Carrying their sacks to market. Pulling their carts to town. And when their feet are sore, old Shamor here is first to lift them up and the last to give up. All this for a bag of straw and a carrot if I'm lucky. Hee-haw, hee-haw. You have got a carrot, haven't you? No. Oh, that's disappointing. I don't normally talk to anyone unless they give me a carrot, but... Uh, oh, 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 sorry, hang on. I've said that already, haven't I? What a daft donkey I am. Oh, Ah. <laughs> <sighs> No one notices me. And no one cared until that day. I'm no legend like Shadow Flax or Pegasus. No thoroughbred like Frankel or Red Rum. No one exciting like Trigger or Silver or even anyone brave like Joey the Warhorse. Just a plain old plodder. That's me. Tied in the yard I was with my boy, Shamor Jr. Till these men came to collect. They didn't look like our normal customers. An odd pair. Work shy, if you ask me. Soft hands. But I didn't take them for thieves. Not until the stable hand intervened. Hey, what are you doing with our donkeys? Well, I took alarm and I, I joined the protest. 
But the master needs them, came the reply. But all this brass. And that shut the stable hand up. So I had no choice but to calm down and to go with them. Well, they led us down the street, took off their cloaks, and they laid them on me. This must be some master, I thought. And then I saw him. Eyes like an ocean of calm, standing there in the centre of chaos. Are you ready? he asked me, as he climbed gently on my back. To Jerusalem we go. Now that journey I know. Queuing to get through the gate, soldiers rough handling me. Ouch! Oi! Do that again and I'll kick! <sighs> Not today though. Today I was chaperoned. Palm leaves stripped and laid like a red carpet. Men, women and children shouting, Hosanna! 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 <laughs> Some greeting for the master. It was lighter than I expected. But then I got the feeling he understood what it means to be a bearer of burdens. Hosanna! They kept shouting. And it means save us. God saves. That's a heck of an expectation to carry. I wonder what he'd do to save them. They didn't all look pleased to see him, I have to say. No one has looked with envy at me, but some of those glares, would they were enough to chill the blood. Yet he didn't seem to mind. It was as if neither praise nor scorn meant a thing to him. Only purpose. And what a huge purpose. Soon my job was done. He was off my back and going on alone. Carrying the weight of the world, it crossed my mind. On his shoulders. Now, has anyone got a carrot? I don't normally talk to anyone unless they give me a carrot. Lord, we lift up your name with 
torch full of grace. Be exalted, O Lord my God, O Sanner in the highest. Faithful God. You are always true. There is no shadow of turning with you. You are light, and in you there is no darkness. You are love, held together with truth. Forgive us, Lord. When so often we can be like a crowd that one day shouts Hosanna and the next crucify him, crucify him. When we waver in our devotion. When we scatter like disciples afraid for the enemy prowls like a roaring lion. Teach us to walk your way, to speak your truth. To live with courage and integrity. Lord, create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. For we cannot live this way without your leading. Through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord, most high. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it, and they are saved. strong tower the righteous run into it and they are saved glory to the name of the Lord glory to the name of the Lord glory to the name of the Lord most high Holy is 
the name of the Lord. Holy is the name of the Lord. Holy is the name of the Lord. Most high. Holy is the name of the Lord. Holy is the name of the Lord. Holy is the name of the Lord. Most high. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous shall. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Old Testament reading is taken from Psalm 118, verses 1 and 2, and 19 to 29. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O oh Lord, save us. O oh Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine upon us. His boughs in hand join in the festal procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Amen. The reading comes from Mark, chapter 11, verses 1 to 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you why are you doing this, say, The Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. They went out and found a colt outside in the street, tied at the doorway, and they untied it. Some people standing there asked, What are you doing untying that colt? They answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches that they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. 
Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple courts. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Palm Sunday is often known as the triumphal entry, and indeed it was. The streets would have been lined on each side with crowds of people cheering and of course shouting, Hosanna! Maybe you can remember an event that you went to where there were crowds of people to welcome someone special. It may have been the Queen's Jubilee, or it may have been your supporting football team that had just won the cup and you're welcoming them back into the home town. Maybe you were the person being welcomed when you walked down the aisle on your wedding day and there were crowds of people on each side. I can vividly remember when Prince Edward came uh, to my school and the students were lined up on either side and he arrived by a helicopter. We were ever so excited and for me, I got the opportunity to talk to him and it was such a momentous occasion. You could say it was my claim to fame moment. But Pan Sunday is much more than a triumphal entry. This joyous event of Jesus entry into Jerusalem on a cult, of course, is recognized by Jesus' disciples and some of the pilgrims heading for a Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. And they recognise the importance of this symbolic act and so lay out pieces of clothing and tree branches in front of the coming Messiah. The Jewish idea of the Messiah was an interesting one as they wanted to see someone who would challenge the Roman army for their ill treatment and persecution, uh, persecution of the Jews. They expected to see Jesus riding on a stallion and ready to fight a war. This, as we know, is the wrong picture of the Messiah and in particular of who Jesus was. It's important to remember that Jesus said in Mark chapter 11, verse 2, Go to the village ahead of you and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. The fact that no one had ever ridden this colt before is incredible, as no one would ever ride a colt that had not been broken in. Yet Jesus sits on the colt and it immediately knows who his master is. It does not buckaroo which was a game that I remember playing when I was younger, where you had to put lots of different things on it and eventually it would kick up its hind legs. No, it rides on in majesty, as it knows that the King of Kings is upon him. This was such a display of humility, and no doubt only a few who were there really understood the real meaning of what they were witness to. It's important to note that so far I've not mentioned the word donkey and that's because Mark and Luke mention the word cult. It is only Matthew that refers to it as a donkey. In fact, many of the crowds, in verse 8, spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. They would have been in such a joyous mood, as they were, of course, celebrating Passover, and this was about freedom time. It's difficult to think that these would have been the same crowds that would have cheered for Jesus to be sent to death by his crucifixion. Spreading cloaks though on dusty roads and waving branches from the nearby fields 
This just wouldn't happen for anybody. This, of course, would have been done for a king. Tom Wright explains that this is the point where Mark makes it clear. The disciples have believed that Jesus is the true and rightful king of the Jews and is on his way to Jerusalem to be healed as such. This is his royal reception. The crowd shout, Hosanna, which is a Hebrew word, which mixes exuberant praise to God with the prayer that God will save his people and do so right away. Prayer is so important in the lives of the Jewish people. They make it appear so easy as it is so much a part of everything they do. And as Christians, we should do the same. These people really didn't know who for sure who Jesus was. But with the benefit of knowing exactly who he is. And God's kingdom needs us now more than ever. But this idea of prayer got me thinking. As today's service is about Palm Sunday, I was thinking about my Pam. And many of you will have heard of the five fingered prayer. We're starting from the thumb. We praise God. Then we pray a prayer of thanksgiving, followed by a prayer of intercession. Then a prayer of confession. And finally, a petition. This would be a great way to pray about Palm Sunday. Praise God for how he is king of kings every day and not just on Palm Sunday. Thanksgiving. Thanking God for what he did after Palm Sunday and how he died for each and every one of us. Intercession. Praying to God for those people who are still part of the crowd, but yet do not know who he really is. And praying that they will come to know him. Confession. Confessing our sins to God and asking forgiveness for all of the sins that we commit. And finally, petition, asking God to be our master, like he was for the donkey. Perhaps this is something you can take time to try out today. And it helps us to focus on our thoughts of Jesus, and in particular, the whole idea of Palm Sunday and what it was about. But of course, this joyous, exciting event would be a distant memory when Jesus was nailed to a cross. His very notice on his cross was given to him by Pontius Pilate, which read Inri, a Latin phrase, Lesus Nazarenus Rex Luderum, meaning Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. I want to challenge you now. Are you just one of the crowd who did not really know who Jesus was? Or are you the donkey that instantly knew his master and obeyed him? The choice is yours to follow the King of Kings today. I'd like to end with a poem called What We Have Learnt. They shouted with praises, reaching the sky, pushing and shoving to see Jesus pass by, crying Hosanna, Hosanna, glory to the King. He comes to us today, great joy he doth bring. They threw down palm leaves, covering the way, 
clearing the way for his entrance that day. Raising joyful voices as praises filled the air. The day had come. God answered their prayer. But in a short time, they changed their chant from joyful noise to a mob's hate filled rant. From Hosanna, Hosanna, as when he was praised to crucify him, crucify him, as their anger blazed. In disbelief, we might question why they turned. But maybe the question is, what have we learnt? Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for everything that you have done for us on this Palm Sunday of trying to let the people know that you are the true King of Kings. Lord, we ask you that we can today proclaim that you are our King of Kings. And Lord, we praise your name. We say, Hosanna, Hosanna. We glorify your name. And we thank you that not long later, you died on that cross on Calvary for each and every one of us. You were mocked, you were suffered, and you died. And Lord, we thank you that that death was overcome. Death had lost its sting because Lord, you managed to be in heaven with our Lord. And Lord, we pray that this week, particularly in Holy Week, we will take those steps with you again. That we will meditate on these steps of your journey. And what happened on that Good Friday. And Lord, we thank you that everything that we do, if we just ask for forgiveness from you. All this we ask in your name. Amen.
prayers of intercession. Lord Jesus Christ, you entered Jerusalem in quiet humility, taking the form of a servant, even to the point of death on a cross, emptying yourself so that the we might be filled. Come again now and establish your kingdom. Come afresh to our troubled world with all its needs, its tensions, its problems and its evil. Come again now and establish your kingdom. Bring healing where there is division, love where there is hatred, hope where there is despair, joy where there is sorrow, confidence where there is fear, strength where there is weakness, healing where there is sickness, life where there is death. Come again now and establish your kingdom. Lord Jesus, come to us now in this time of trouble with this COVID pandemic, the riots in Bristol and the trouble all over your troubled world. Please, Lord, be with us. Come again now and establish your kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, reach out to your church and world despite the weakness of our faith the rejection of so many. May your will be done on earth, even as it is in heaven. Come again now and establish your kingdom, for in your name we pray. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the pow power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. to our blessing now. God of mercy, you are full of tenderness and compassion. You are slow to anger and rich in love, always ready to forgive. Forgive us, Lord, and teach us to take up our cross and to follow you. Grant us the grace to renounce all evil and to cling closely to the way of Christ that in every way we might be proven to be 
your children through Jesus Christ our Lord and to him be the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ that surpasses all understanding guard your hearts and minds now and forevermore. Amen.